Hi, hello, <laughs> happy Tuesday. <laughs> Jam the Urban Gypsy Crochet here from Rainy Manchester. <sighs> it's never stopped raining. Oh well, I suppose the plants need it, don't they? But I don't need it. No, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I've been missing. Um, but my son got. Uh, rushed into hospital last Monday. Um, they thought he had a blockage in his intestines but it turned out to be his appendix. <laughs> so they couldn't do a keyhole surgery because it was in a bad condition. So they had to uh, do an open surgery. So it was worse for him. Uh, I mean we were obviously wor worried about him. You know me and my daughter-in-law and of course all the rest of the family but it was worse for him because he couldn't even have any visitors you know because of this Covid situation and uh, what upset him <laughs> more than anything was they made him shave his beard off because he has to wear a mask yeah so he wasn't very happy about that <laughs> that's the least of his worries isn't it the beard will grow back come on but anyway they kept him in and they didn't let him out until Saturday after Afternoon. So it was quite a long time really because he had his operation Tuesday morning and um, you know we were kind of expecting him to come home um, and he didn't and he didn't and he didn't and they kept saying he had an infection and he had to have his antibiotics and uh, there was all sorts of things going on anyway. Anyway he's home. Says he feels tons better now he's in his own home eating his own food because nobody really likes hospital food do they when they're honest about it I mean you put up with it don't you it's edible and that's about all you can usually say about it but he's home now under his wife's tender care and I'm sure she's looking after him very well and he's in his recliner and he's got his TV you know what more could he wish for the dog of course keeps trying to put her nose in his groin because she does tend to put her, her head on, you know, people's knees. But she puts it high up, if you know what I mean. And now he's like, whoa, 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 Poppy, whoa, whoa, you know. <laughs> back off, back off. Anyway, what have I been doing? Well, not an awful lot. I mean, you knew I'd finish this off. Um, I haven't taken any photographs because it's been raining. I haven't opened my Etsy shop. Because I've been too lazy or too rainy or too whatever to list things. So if you can see there I've got a pile of things on that chair. And I don't know what you can see if I turn it around but I've got a pile of things over there. Just ignore my towel drying. That was when I did wash my hair and came down with a towel wrap around it. Right, sorry if I've made you a bit sick there, moving it around. Anyway, what have I been doing? Well, I've finished off what I was making if you were on Saturday Live. I found, oh, it's going to look very washed out, isn't it, here? I found six hanks of yarn in, upstairs when I was in the, you know, the stash room uh, tidied up a bit. Didn't know what they were, but it turns out there must be some wool in them. Because that's better, you can see the colours better now, can't you? Because when I've washed it now, it definitely smelled very woolly, yeah? So it's just a top, it's dried at the moment, which is why it's pinned to a board. So I'll show it you better when, when it's finished. Which pattern did I have? Well, don't have hysterics when you see the lady's hair do. Because it's, it's a wig, <laughs> as was the want in the, those days. It's, if you can see a wig. <gasps> Honestly, how hysterical is that wig? Yeah. And that's the top. And you can tell how old it is. It's a free pattern and it says, you can make this sweater for 80 pence. <laughs> Yes, for 80 pence. You couldn't even buy the pattern these days. The pattern, by the way, was free at the time. 
So, what have I been doing? Oh, I've forgotten my cardigan. It's over there. My green cardigan. I've put the buttons on this, this top. Put the buttons on that. I've shown it to you before. I've been making it for quite a while. It was in a very fine cotton. And uh, it's not something I want to rush and do again, actually. It seemed to take me forever. It was on a tiny, tiny hook. So whoever gets this, I hope that they appreciate how much of a, a labour of love it's been. Yeah. So I'll add that to my ever-growing pile. Uh, just give me one sec and I will go and get my cardigan that I've forgotten. Um, there, whoo, there with me. Can't get through past the light. Oh dear. I'm so terribly disorganised today. Really disorganised, but I'm coming through now. My house is tiny, so there is not a lot of room to squash past any lighting. So here we go. Uh huh. That's my cardigan. I finished it. It's one of my own patterns. There's no pattern for it because it's still in the head. I did put on wooden buttons because I couldn't find any green buttons. Why do I always go the wrong way when I'm trying to show you things? I did put wooden buttons on. What you can't see is it's got a little picture of a tree embossed on each button, which is quite pretty. And now I'm getting hooked up on the pins. Yeah. So I finished the, the 1960s, whatever it is, top off. This afternoon and I started another one while I was up um, in the stash room I found this Shakamaya Northern Originals yarn again you know you the, the light is shining on it too much it's a very delicate turquoise it's dark if I turn the light off it's probably dark ah maybe you can see it better there so I'm doing, I've only just started it while I was watching Midsummer Murders. Just started it. It's all done on a chart. Which is interesting because the pattern is vaguely English and vaguely Spanish. I'll show you what I mean. Must be. Ooh, ooh. Right, it's in a book called Katya. And what I'm actually making, I've had this pattern for years. I think actually it was um, Sue that brought me the pattern back when she went on holiday. If I remember rightly. It's, I'm making that but without the white neck edging on it. But the pattern is on a chart. Ooh, you can't see the chart. And it doesn't show you, you know, the chain for the bottom. Or it doesn't show you the chain, the chains in between the stitches. So you're having to like, guess, you know, and I'm looking at the picture and squinting at the picture thinking, have they missed two chain there? Or have they missed three chain there? And it's been a little bit of a <laughs> guest guesstimation with everything I'm doing. I don't mind doing charts if they give me the right number of, you know, like stitches underneath. Um, so, it could be anybody's guess when this gets finished. <laughs> I may go off the whole thing in the middle and decide to do something else. A lot easier that I don't have to concentrate on when I'm, you know, trying to watch the TV. And I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking, uh, I don't know. Ah, yeah, yeah. I was going to carry on going up the chart and then I've realised I've got a little bit here that says R1 and that must be my pattern. Repeat. Good job you're here. It would stop me making a big faux pas. Ah, so, I mean, look at the 
one on the front cover. I mean, I don't know whether that's arm knitting or what it is, but it's very, very open, isn't it? I don't think I want to do that one. So, I've got another two patterns that came today. eBay specials. I don't know whether you can see. Oh, gosh. This light's really shining on everything. It's done in a four-ply, which is like a kind of a fingering. And it's got a pattern on it, if you can see it. It's a cardigan pattern. I bought this courtesy of eBay. I'm always at eBay every day. I always have a, a rummage. I Ravelry every day and I eBay every day to see if there's any patterns that I like. And then I also saw this on eBay. I have actually got that pattern. It's in, uh, well, in fact, I've got all of these patterns, to be truthful. But they're in the copies, back copies of the magazine called Crochet! Exclamation Mark. And the only way I've got these crochet exclamation mark magazines is digitally. Digitally is fine. If you can print them out or if you've got some way of taking them into the front room with you while you... I've never found out yet how I can transfer them from my big PC. Excuse me. To my... Oh, I've got hiccups now. To my tablet. So I can't keep like either printing everything out, which sometimes are about 15 pages long, or keep having to come into the back room here while I'm watching the TV in the front room to find out what I'm supposed to do. I mean, this one was easy. I didn't print this one out. I just wrote what I'm supposed to be doing, did all the squares, and all I had to do then was look what I had to do for the neckline, yeah. It's not looking right on there, by the way, because it's meant to be worn. It's a Jen Cherry pattern, like a Star Lily Creations. She's on Etsy, she's on Ravelry. It's meant to be worn, like, right across, you know, like a bardo. But as my mannequin here has no shoulders, um, and I'm not prepared to wear it, um, then that's why it doesn't look right. I don't know quite how I'm going to display it when I oh got a hair. When I put it on the Etsy shop, when she said, when my boat comes in, when my ship comes in, when my aircraft lands, I will do it one day. I don't know quite how I'm going to display it because you know it's a bit hard to display that it's supposed to be off the shoulders. You can't put it on a coat hanger because if you put it on a coat hanger, it just drops off. Um, Hmm, I'll have to think about that one. Anyway, in this book here, there's this one here, this pattern, which is very nice. It's like the pineapple pattern. That one's done in, um, oh, I can't see now, the light's in my eyes. It's in a four, it's in Red Heart, Coats and Cl Clarks, Creme de la Creme, whatever that is. Hopefully it's cotton, I don't know. Anyway, that's done on a 5.5 millimetre hook. There's only, I think there's only five in here, but they're not all tops. Um, Summer by the Seashell, that's the one that's on the front cover, so you've already seen that in better detail. And that's in Red Heart, uh, again, but it's in Eco Cotton Blend, and that's done on a 5.50 hook again. I think this one's by Doris Chan, if I'm not mistaken. But don't quote me on that, but I'm sure that's one of Doris's. It looks very familiar. And we have got a mesh cover-up. I mean, you don't need to wear that as a cover-up on the beach. You could wear it over a tee, couldn't you? Or over a little t-shirty thing, yeah? You don't have to wear it on the beach. That one's done in Red Heart again. It's in Luster Sheen. It's a number two weight, so it's a finer one. It's on a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This one, there's not a very good picture of it. It's called a lacy swing top. Now I'm I'm very sort of hippy and bottomy, 
So I don't really like anything that's so baggy, you know, around the bottom. But other people might like the extra, you know, they're very slim. They might like to have a bit of shape, yeah. I've got enough of my own shape, thanks very much, yeah. It's Red Heart, Coates and Clark, again, the Luster Sheen, which is a number two weight. And it's on a 3.5 hook. Um, so, yeah, it's called a Lacy Swing Top. Mm. Make sure I'm going across. This one's the Garden Party Dress. I haven't made any dresses for a long time. Because I tend to wear, you know, very long dresses and I don't think I want to go for anything that's that long. So that it would maybe drop a bit and trip on the floor, you know. So I haven't crocheted any dresses for a long time. That again is in a number two weight. It's in that luster sheen again from Red Heart. And it's on um, 3.75 hook. Yeah, I've nothing against making a dress of such. I think I get a bit bored, you know, with all the weight. Now this is a sunbathing bikini if you've got a nice figure and you're brave enough to wear one. Which rules me out on both counts. Don't have the figure, not brave enough to wear one. <laughs> um, this is again, it's a number two weight. It's again that red heart luster sheen. And it's done on a 3.5 crochet hook. It's been a long time since I wore a bikini. <laughs> long time since I wore a bikini yeah this again is a very small picture which is sad because it's called the lacy days of summer and it's a very pretty very pretty dress actually it's got a shape there that's a bit like a rainbow shape in the middle of the top I don't know whether you can quite make it out I have seen this before and in the pattern book I saw it before um, They've just done the top bit as like a, a crop top, yeah, and wore it with trousers. Uh, this again is a number two weight, it's uh, Red Heart again, the Luster Sheen, and it's on a 375 hook. Yeah, so I have seen it before, and that's the end. That's the end. So it's a Red Heart design, obviously, and even though this copy is brand new, I had to order it, courtesy of... Um, eBay. <laughs> Nearly said Etsy then, but I didn't get it from Etsy, got it from eBay. I'm sure that's a Doris Champagne, but don't quote. Might be wrong. Might be wrong on that. So, what has everybody else been up to? I've not been up to an awful lot, really. As you know, we're still sort of... Well, we're not in lockdown anymore. In actual fact, some of the pubs have opened over here, but I'm not a pub person anyway, and I wouldn't go because... It They'd be really crowded. Everybody's caught of like, oh, the pubs are open, let's all them. And I mean, when it was sunny, when it was sunny, <laughs> they were all rushing down to the beach and they were all crammed on the beach like sardines, which is oh, so irresponsible. Absolutely irresponsible. I'm just hoping we don't get a second wave of this COVID. I know I sound like Mrs. Doubtfire, you know what I mean, but. I just, just want to keep everybody safe, you know. I mean, I do go out a bit now. And this is why I'm thinking of opening the shop again, because I am actually going to be braving the post office. And my niece, you know, she's a toy shed mistress. She'll be off school. Well, not off school because she still has to go in. But you know what I mean? She'll be not tied to the hours the same. And she'll be able to post anything if I do sell anything to America for the next couple of weeks or so. Um, you know, saving me having to go to the post office. But I've got to brave it one day. I've got to go out there. and You know, when I go into the stash room and I see the boxes with all my grocery in, you know, to have taken off the shop and closed the shop down for the time. But, well, not closed it. I've just put it in sleep zone. So, you know, I... Um, I need to do something. I need to get myself my act together. Yeah. Kelly's doing well with her um, her shop, yeah. Uh, I don't hope you've been following her, Crafted by Kelly X. Um, she's been making it some lovely jackets that are on her latest videos. And um, 
she'd be making some lovely coloured socks called her Ribena Berry socks. But she can't remember how she dyed the yarn. I hope she can because it's such a lovely colour, you know. So I do hope she can actually remember how she dyed it and then she can make some more. And then if anybody wants to buy the yarn to make their own socks, they know where to go for it, don't they? I mean, she's, she's oops, excuse me, just get me a drink. She's selling the pattern um, on her shop, in her shop. She's selling the pattern. And uh, I'm not sure whether she's going to be making the pattern for this June jacket that she's been making. If you go and have a look, she's been doing some really nice jackets with the, you know, the, what do you call them, like a shawl collar, you know, that bends back, really nice shawl collar. Yeah, I hope she does the pattern because I want to get one. <laughs> I wouldn't mind making myself one of those for the winter. Um, but, as I say, I'll just keep on crocheting and doing bits and pieces and things. And hopefully one day I'll get up with the urge to open the shop again. You know, I'm really bad though this, mo this, this morning. I'm bad every morning. <laughs> I'm bad though, I can't go to sleep at night. It's like one or two o'clock, well, probably three or four o'clock before I nod off. And then I find I can't get up till about ten. By the time I've had my breakfast and washed a few dishes and different things, had a shower and that, you're talking lunchtime. And then I'm like, oh gosh, the day's half over. <laughs> I cannot motivate. I need somebody behind me to motivate me. It's all the, you know, the lazy-itis, whatever you want to call it. I've not lost my crow, Joe, because I am crocheting, although be it a lot slower than usual. It does help if you don't burn your fingers when you're getting your dinner out the oven, don't it, you know. Luckily it wasn't my right hand, it wasn't my crochet hand, but it is the hand I hold the yarn with, so I burnt two of my finger ends. Silly me. I had the cloth. I had the cloth onto the thing. But for some reason or other, two of the fingers weren't on the cloth. They were actually holding the tray out of the oven. I tell you, you know, stupid. I'm my own worst enemy. So, I don't know what else to tell you. There's nothing much going on in my life. I wish I had an exciting life. I wish I could tell you, oh, I've been here. Oh, I've been there. Oh, I've been to this workshop. Oh, I've been looking there. A, we don't have any workshops. B, I'm not going to the market even if he is open because I'm not going on public transport and there'll be too many people there anyway. And C, I've got too much yarn so I need to be part of Kelly's sort of aim to crochet but she's got 3,000 grams she wants to crochet in a month I think. We should have said 300. <laughs> have been with her <laughs> but I am determined I won't even look at any emails that come showing me yarn I won't even look and it's the same with yarn hauls when people have got yarn holes I'm like no no I'm not looking I'm not looking because I might see something that I like and no my aim is to get the stash room into a reasonable shape I can't see the floor can't see the floor. But there are things still on the floor that shouldn't be on the floor, that should be on the shelf. Yeah, my aim in life really is to get the knitting machines up into the stash room. And to do that, I would have to have worked my way through a lot of yarn. So, what am I doing here? Chatting when I should be crocheting. <laughs> Hopefully there might be something good on the TV. Then I can watch that. I think I told you I made a boo-boo when I ordered my uh, TV. I didn't get a smart TV. So I can't sit and watch my YouTube videos on the TV anymore. I either have to sit in here on the uncomfy chair and watch them on my PC. And then I get uncomfortable when my back hurts because I can't crochet them at the wrong angle. Or I watch them on a little tablet in the front room which not good, not good at all. I mean, my son was going to bring me back a fire stick, which I've got, that I lent him. But of course, with him getting rushed in hospital, now is not the time to ask him, can he bring me fire stick back, is it? You know what I'm saying? 
don't think you'd appreciate that really yeah so I'm just hoping that the rest of the week turns out nicer but when you look at the forecast it's just rain rain and more rain I do hope it's not going to be like this till the end of the year otherwise I will get despondent I like a bit of sunshine People say, oh, do, oh, I hate it when it's hot. Oh, I don't like it when it's hot. I thrive when it's hot. I love it when it's hot. I'm sure I should have been born in a warmer climate, you know. I don't know whether I could do the 100 degrees like some people over in America get. But I definitely like about the 80s, yeah. 70s and 80s is my kind of temperature, yeah. Not the 50s like we're on at the moment. <laughs> I think we're about 53 degrees today or something daft outside. It's July. Come on, it's July. It should be sunny. Yeah. Anyway, on that doleful note, I shall leave you. Hopefully I'll have something a little bit more interesting to show you. I'll be able to show you um, when, I, when it's dried, sweater. I'll put it on the mannequin. And hopefully I'll have done a bit more on this um, Spanish stroke English translation stroke charted sweater. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, thank you for joining me. And oh, I would thank you very much for the people who've bought me a coffee. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I'm saving them all up. I'm going to have a field day when I can get out and have a coffee. My niece has found a place where we can get, she brings me hot chocolate on a Saturday when she comes. Uh, it's not our local normal cafe, because uh, that's still not open. But she's found a place where she can get it from now, so still got the hot chocolate, it's nice. Uh, not as nice as what we used to get from the ordinary shop, but beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, all the other places are not open still. It's funny, isn't it, how bargain booze has all been open all the time. Is that considered to be an essential shop? Hmm. I would have thought that bread shops and things like that would be called more essential shops. But, hmm, never mind, we'll see. I haven't been up on the village this week, so I don't know whether anything more has opened. They were supposed to open on July the 4th, some shops, but whether they have or not, I don't know. I don't know. So, but I'm supposed to be banned from going out anyway because I'm still under. They were talking about releasing the lockdown on us vulnerable oldie goldies, yeah. And also I'm supposed to ring up about the shrubberies because they're supposed to be opening very soon. So, and I can get me Fu Manchu toenails cut. <laughs> Good to I don't walk anywhere, really. Yeah. I'd be, be like a, a dog with long toenails I'd be like scraping the floor <laughs> so what's going on that's not a nice subject is it will change it yeah anyway I'm going to go so bye for now and I hope you've enjoyed my little not very interesting video so <laughs> I'll try and think of something more interesting to talk to you next time bye for now